They'll get to hunger. Watakunywa, they'll drink. At a time they will get to thirst. Furaha, they'll sing joyfully. At the time you are weeping, servants that is. Those who are serving the Lord, the Lord. When he says servants, he doesn't mean preachers. Mtumishi ni mtu a servant is one who is serving the law of the Lord God. Who is diligent to walk in the righteousness. That is called a servant. God said this person here shall eat and drink and be happy because he is serving the law of the Lord. Whether you are boy, whether you are girl, whether father mama, or mother, he says my servant furahi, shall be happy at the time you are crying, at the time you are mourning, furahi, my servant will be glad. Atakula, atakunwa. He'll eat and drink. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, so you must consider yangu, in my thoughts, yangu, my ways, which law am I serving? Is it of God? In my home, which law am I serving? The law of God says, forgive, let pardon, love your wife, be submissive to your husband, honor your father and your mother. Your father. Your mother. That is the law of God. Whenever you learn to you are called to be a servant. Whatever you pray, the Lord will do it. He says in Proverbs, the anticipation of the unrighteous will get to pet, but the righteous will attain their desires. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You anticipate it for good children, but you don't watch us. You don't serve the law of righteousness. Boys and men, in darknesses, in dark places, you are serving the law of the devil. No. Now you will pray truly. Problems will come in refuge to God truly. But because you don't serve his law, he won't work with you. He won't work. He says, my servants are the ones who will eat. They'll be fed. They'll never get to thirst. Whatever they pay, the Lord will make it happen. I chose from my youthful time serving the law of Jesus Christ. And I said in my heart, if I die, my, my fellow young men say that time, you say you are saved. You live in this world as a boy and you, you don't exercise in the streets. When you marry, you will be dead, you will never get children. I said it's okay with me. But it's enough to serve the law of the devil. I chose to serve the Lord. I rejected to live in salvation and pretending. I chose to serve the righteous law. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then, I was close to the men of God. Preachers in Miracle Revival. Back in the village, Mtondia. That was our nearby church when I was schooling in Kilifi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was free to commit sin. And Kilifi that time was full. At that time, the factory was so pronounced. Ule mutambo wa korosho ule. The Kashinas factory. Yaka hiyo ya sabini na nanane. 1978. Na tisa. 1979. Kwenelea paka thamanini na huko. Moving ahead to 80s. Di ulukuo unavuma mutambo wa korosho. It was so pronounced. Kashinas factory. Na ajabu ulukuo umeajiri wa mama. Wengi. Wonderfully so many women were employed in that factory. Kilifi muju wa kilifi ule. Kilifi town. Ulijaa wa mama wa kila aina. It was full of women all kinds. Weupe, weusi, waifu. Light skin, tall. Wafupi. Black, short. Kila aina. All kind of women. Kila wanaume walikuwa wachachi. Men were very few. Na mimi ndio nikuwa naishi hapo sasa. And I was living in the same town. Tele. Full of them, women. Around the evening at seven. Now, they perfume themselves, huh? getting the streets. Those who have stayed in the cashmere overnight. Now, 
Ah, uh, pengine duty yao ni maybe the, asubuhi. Their duty is the following morning. Unaona jioni jioni wamejishasha. In the evening the perfume that sells. Wamevaa marinda ya humu. They have short dresses. Sasa wanatembea. Now they are walking. Jotoroni humo town. In town streets. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kutafuta mawindo. Seeking for the venison. Tafuta mawindo. Seeking for the venison. Wako mawindoni. They were hunting that way. Nami ni kijana. And I was still a boy. Ndio nimefikia ujana ule kabisa. I'm so hot in youthful time. Damu zina zikomoto. The blood is bubbling. Zinaenda mbio. And moving very fast. Lakini Bwana akawa amenijalia wokovu. But the Lord had enabled me the salvation. Ndio Mungu wa Baba missionary. I had known God of missionary. Kila shule zikifungwa naja hapa. Whenever schools are closed I come here. Anaonya anafundisha. He used to warn and teach. Bwana akanijalia kupenda. The Lord enabled me to learn. Nami nilikuwa na nguvu za lana. And I had the forces of akaz. Kwa kudharau wazazi for despising my parents. Kwa nguvu za lana nyingi nyingi. I had the forces of curses. Lakini kule moyoni but in my heart napingana nazo. I was opposing them. Kilichonisaidia mimi what helped me ni kutoficha is not hiding njia zangu na mawazo yangu. My ways and my thoughts. Kama Biblia inavyosema. As the Bible says. Wale wao wanaomficha bwana mashauri yao. Want to them who hide their counsel of the Lord. Njia zao ziko gizani. And their ways are in dark. Kilicho niokoa mimi jamani. What saved me dear? Ni kuwa karibu na watu wa Mungu. Is being close to the men of God. Kule mtondia. Ili mtondia. Wahubiri wanakuja. Preachers used to Kila come. Aina. All kind of preachers. Sina aibu. I was not ashamed. Mawazo yangu na shirikisha. My thoughts I share. Mawazo. Thoughts only. Nilikuwa ni mtu wa mawazo mengi. I was one of deep thoughts. Yasio ya haki. Which are no righteous. Damu zangu ni zalana. My blood full of curses. For despising my parents and evil thoughts to my parents in the village. What saved me? I was a boy every time sitting with preachers. You can't overcome the devil solely. The Bible says better two than one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kwa kutoficha mashauri yangu watu wa Mungu for not hiding my counsel with the men of God yao, by their prayers hicho kilichofanya mimi nisimame paka kesho that's what made me firm even tomorrow nilikataa i rejected kuishi maisha ya hila to live pretendingly na bwana akaniokoa and the lord saved me bwana akaniokoa the lord saved me kama alivyosema bwana Yesu as he said the lord wewe ni watakatifu be holy kama mimi ndivyo mtakatifu as i am holy Hatuwezi wenyewe. We can't on our own. Hatuwezeshaye ni Bwana Yesu. One enabling us is the Lord Jesus. Hatuwezi wenyewe. We can't on our own. Hata ukataka, however you like. Kuishi matakatifu, maisha matakatifu huwezi. To live a holy life you can't on your own. Huwezi kusema hapana kwa dhambi. You can't say no to sin. Wala ndio kwa utakatifu. Neither can you say yes to holiness. Lakini katika Kristo Yesu Bwana wetu. But in Christ our Lord. Yeye ndiye atushindaye. He is the one overcoming for us. Overcoming for us. Muamini yeye. When you believe in him. Ukitaka moyoni. In your heart. Alafu muamini yeye. Then you believe in him. Ukijua huwezi mwenyewe. Knowing you can't on your own. Hata ukasema hapana kwa dhambi. However you say no to sin you can't. Wala ukasema ndio kwa utakatifu wewe. Say yes to holiness you can't. Christo, yes. But Christ Jesus is the one cleansing us. Uwezo anao yeye. He has the power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lakini ukitaka kushinda. But if you want to overcome. Uwe karibu na watu wa Mungu. Be close to the men of God. Karibu na watu wa Mungu. Close to the men of God. Anasema Bwana Yesu. The Lord Jesus says. Heri wawili kuliko mmoja. Better two than one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio narudi kurudia. That's why I repeat again. Siishi maisha ya hila wakuvuta. Don't live guilefully in salvation. Amen. Amen. Utamshinda shetani. You want to overcome the devil. Utamshinda shetani. You want to overcome the devil. Hata kama una miaka ngapi? However old you are. Shetani haogopi miaka yako. The devil doesn't fear your age. Haogopi miaka yako. He doesn't fear your age. Amen. Amen. Haogopi miaka yako. He doesn't fear your age. Wala usema mimi ni wajana. And don't say I came yesterday. Imani yako your own faith na matendo yako and your deeds na kutoficha mashauri and not hiding your counsel Ukimwamini kwamba Yesu when you believe Jesus ndiye awezaye kuniokoa si nguvu zangu He's the one who can save me not my ability Haya muombe sasa Now pray unto him Umemuomba nguvu azije za kukushindia You pray unto him Wawili wakipatana duniani Two of you when you reason together this one Wawili wakipatana duniani Biblia inasema Two of you Sema. when you reason together this one Ombeni lolote kwa jina langu Pray anything in my name Nami nitalifanya And I'll do that Wawili wakipatana duniani Two when you reason together Wawili duniani wakipatana Two on earth when you reason Katika together Katika jambo lolote lile Upon any matter of Mimi kutaka na 
work hard niokolewe na uchungu huu to be safe from bitterness and live in peace with my husband but i'm not able to you will be told kama paul alivyosema as paul say katika warumi 7 in roman 7 ikiwa leo nataka leo kulifanya silifanye if what i want to do is not what i do but the evil i don't want is what i do it's no more my soul ile dhambi inakanda but the sin abiding in me kuna dhambi alani kanda ni ya mtu the sin akas when it abides in you akasema sitaki kulewa utalewa however you say don't want liquor you'll get to liquor utalewa maana si wewe because it's not you umtuma wa shetani you are slave of the devil umtuma wa shetani you are slave of the devil hata ukataka hutaweza. However you like, you want to be able to work out. Umutuma wa shetani. You are slave of the devil. Dio Paulo akasema katika Warumi. That's why Paul said in Romans. Ukisoma Warumi 7:15 15 downwards. Lile jema nitakalo kunifanya silifanye. The good I want to do is not what I do. Lile baya nsilo lipenda ndio nilitendalo. But the evil I don't want to do is not. Sisi mimi nafsi yangu ni ile dhambi inakanda. No more my soul but the sin. Wana ndani yangu mimi. Because in me halikai neno jema. Nothing good abides. Kutaka nataka I truly will siwezi but I'm not able Kutaka nataka I truly will siwezi but I'm not able Kutimume nataka I want to be submissive but I'm not able Kulidharau nani Who did you despise Je ni mama Is it your mother Uliona mama akitata na baba You saw your mother arguing with your father Ukawa upande wa nani Who did you second Ukaona huyu mama hana akili You saw your mother lacks understanding Oh okay Usijue not knowing kinachowafanya wapigane wewe hukujui you never knew what they were fighting for kinachowafanya watete wewe hujui what is making them argue you never knew hata mama anapigana na baba wewe hukujui your mother was fighting with their father you never Uli knew the cause nani? whom did you condemn leo utaona today you will see kwaza kwa watu wameolewa mahali pazuri maybe you are married in a very good place anakupenda the husband loves you lakini unajikuta tu unachafuka wa msingi you are violent every time hallelujah hallelujah maana ulidharau mzazi because you despised your parent Hukujua mama huyu anatata na baba kwa nini? You never knew why your parents were arguing. Baba huyu anavita na mama kwa nini? Why is your father fighting with your mother? You never Ukadharau, ukachukia. You despised and hated. Ukasema kama ni mimi. You said if it were me. Ile baba anavyomuona ana mapenzi makubwa. How I see my father with a great love. Analea nyumba. He is keeping the house. Kila mama atakacho. What my mother wanyiwa. She's given. Tena mama anavita. Again my mother is fighting here. Na hujui vita hivyo toka wapi. And we don't know the cause of the fight. Ndio maana usiingilie vita vya wazazi. That's as a child never intervene in your parents fight. However they are fighting as a child separate yourself. Kaa kando. Stay far. Waombe. Pray for them. Mungu patanisha baba na God reconcile my father. Usiingilie vita vya wazazi. Don't intervene Bano in the fight because you'll get to see. Utahukumu baba. You'll condemn your father. Au hukumu mama. Or condemn your mother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Usiingilie vita vya wazazi. Don't get to your parents fight. Maana uwe muombaji. As a child you pray. Kama mwana wa Lutu as lord's child mmoja akaingilia vita one go to fight kadharau baba huyu and despite this father wengine yeye akasema hapana one said no akatafuta shuka akafunika he sought for a sheet went backwards and akafunika covered maana yake covering meaning nikutonungunika is not murmuring tokulaumu not blaming kuomba ye mungu praying god kwa baba na mama save my father and my mother hivi waponye bwana this fight to wapatanishe reconcile lakini unapoingia swali na mmoja wapo but whenever you question one of them that you pointed kesho utakujaona unashindwa na maisha tomorrow will be defeated in life baba haukumiwi mama haukumiwi parents can't be judged hawa wanaitwa wafalme hapa chini ya juu they are called kings and queens under the sun hallelujah hallelujah uhukumu baba hawa mama you judge your father or your mother maana wasikia baba wanatana mama because you hear them arguing hata uhukumu baba You judge your father? Umuite ni mudhambi. You call him a sinner? Ni mulevi. He's a drunkard. Au numpenda wanawake? Maybe he loves women. Nawe dhambi hii itakuja kushinda kesho. This sin will come and defeat Wataka you tomorrow. Wataka hutaki itakuja kushinda. Whether you like or not it will overcome Baba, you tomorrow. Baba, haotu kidole. A father is not pointed at. Ni mfalme. He's a king. Hata mama amuiteje? However your mother will Hata call him. Hata mama asimwamini. However your mother will never Usiyote trust him. Kidole. Don't point your father. Ni baba wako ni mama wako. This is your father and your mother. Unapouta kidole mzazi. Whenever you point your father. Hukumu mfalme. You've condemned the king or the king. Hukumu mfalme. You've condemned. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Utakujaona unakushindwa maisha na utajue. In life vinatoka wapi? In life will be defeated not knowing the reason. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio mwana wa lutu. That's a lost child. Hata ni kweli baba analewa kweli. Truly the father was a Lika addict. But he was sympathetic to him. He never condemned him. One was tied which type of a man is Which type of a man is this? Mmoja akasema hapana. One said no. Yuko wapi? Where's he? Yuko pale ameanguka. Down there falling down. Akachukua shuka. He took a shit backwards and covered his father. Ndio akasema baba amuka. Then he said father get up. 
Umenifunika shuka mwanangu. You covered me my son. Okay. Ufunika shuka. Cover me with the Leo ni kutonungunika. Today is not mama. Kutolaumu. Not blame. Baba huyu ni mtu aina gani huyu? Which type of a father is this? Pesa yote anapeleka wapi? All the money where is it taking? na mtu anapata hela. We are going without food is getting the money. Ujui kinachofanya akipata hela. You don't know when he gets money. Hata anashindwa kulea mudi ni mashaka gani anayo. He fails to keep the home. What is the cause? Mombeo usimunungunike. You pray upon him. Don't mama against. Unungunika na kulaumu hivyo umemfunua umemweka uchi. Mamari and blaming that you naked him. Kumuniana mbele za wajomba speaking about na mashangazi before your uncle the ones. Kumuniana mbele za wajomba blaming him that you stripped him naked. Kesho tomorrow utakuja tafuta kushinda dhandu utaona ufao. You will seek of a coming sin you will never succeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hindi watoto wati hini wazosuwe Wati kwa wana wana ni haki Amri niyo amri ya kwanza Ninye ahadi Upate heri Ukaya